Hi everyone, this is Dazza the Cameraman, and this is another look at this simulation of what we see in the real world applied to a flat earth map. Now a lot of people have misunderstood the purpose of this simulation. It is not a 100% working flat earth map, it was never intended to be. What it is, as I say, is what we see in the real world projected onto a flat earth map and this actually debunks the flat earth model because clearly we're not watching the sun going around the uh, north pole or following the equator or the tropic of capricorn at this point i have the coordinates set up to union glacier station in antarctica and we can see that the sun is actually circling around base station from our point of view this is what the guys will be seeing from Union Glacier right now as they have confirmed and we can see that the Sun is rotating around anti-clockwise around the sky around them and it's actually going way off out um, off the edge of the disk and you can see the coordinates for the Sun's altitude and azimuth up in the top left hand corner you can see the hours of the day um, moving along in the top line there and you can see time of year, which I've got set to 0.98. We're pretty much at the end of the year. That part is probably not quite accurate. I can't enter a date as such in there. We've got the longitude set at minus 79.75 decimal degrees. We've got the latitude set to minus 82.85. And here we can see the sun going around and around, never setting. And this is exactly what they are seeing right now from Union Glacier. Now, I'm rather rusty on moving this around, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. And uh, if you want to try the simulation, I'll post a link for it. And you do have to put in the password to use it. Wait for it. NASA, all in capital letters. We thought that would be fun. And uh, so it's fully interactive. You can... Now uh, tilt it around, you can move backwards and forwards and so on. I'm holding my microphone in the other hand here, so um, I can't use all of the keys on the keyboard, but there are some instructions for it. By the way, the red circle that you see is the path of the sun on the equinoxes in March and September. The yellow path is obviously the uh, overhead path of the sun. And you will notice that when I change the, um, the angle here, it's a little bit easier to see. And if we look down, you'll see a, a compass. So our position here is right there in the middle of the compass. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to show you is that if we change the date, you will see how the path of the sun changes um, considerably. So time of the year, I'm going to adjust the slider here. And um, so 50 would be the pretty close to the... Uh, June solstice and at the end or the beginning is the December solstice. Okay, I won't say summer or winter because that depends on what hemisphere you're in, of course. All right. And also, if I change the, uh, the latitude, for example, you will see how the sun takes a much steeper angle. If I go right up to, um, right at there, that would be on the equator okay so the sun would be overhead so i hope that helps um, this is a very useful tool in debunking flat earth it was never intended as a working flat earth model because there is no such thing do feel free to have a play with it you'll find a link in the description area and remember that you need to use the password nasa all in capitals thank you for watching